Hello, fellow Shakespeareans, and welcome to episode 13 of Song Spear 22. Song Spear. Episode 13 is The Winter's Tale. Well, that's not good. The Winter's Tale is one of Shakespeare's stranger plays, kind of caught between the tragic and the comedic. The first three acts are signaling a pretty tragic series of events, and then acts four and five have more of a pastoral, um, lover's hijinks sort of feel, with an ending that includes... A statue coming to life. Sort of a questionable plot point. It's also one of Shakespeare's most musical plays, both in the amount of music that it calls for and just the number of composers who have decided to set music from it. That's almost entirely due to one character, Autolycus. He sings no fewer than six songs in Act 4, Scenes 3 and 4. So he enters the stage singing, and then he just sort of keeps singing all of these songs in rapid succession. Those songs are When Daffodils Begin to Peer, But Shall I Go Mourn for That? Jog on, lawn as white as driven snow, get you hence, for I must go, and will you buy any tape? We're going to hear five of those texts in eight different songs, and if eight seems like a lot, I narrowed it down from 28, because I care. Now, if you're following along, or were following along in the Shakespeare 2020 reading group, or just the Gregorian calendar, you may notice that this episode is a little late. I just got really, really busy. But this episode would have been even later, if not for a lot of collaboration that I had, which I am eternally grateful for. Cindy Lindine Martin uh, contributed a whopping three accompaniments, so thank you so much for taking on all of that difficult piano for me. We also get to welcome back the dynamic duo of Emily Murdoch, soprano, and Stephen Aguilo Arbues on the piano, and Emily actually also plays the flute. So in addition to being a great soprano, she is also a flutist, and she joined me for a flute solo accompaniment on one of the pieces. So thank you all so much for helping me make this episode possible. Even though it's coming late, it would have been even later without your help. Now, you heard me right. I said eight pieces. Let's get to it. I decided to group the song settings by text so that you could compare how each composer set them differently, and nowhere is that more apparent than in When Daffodils Begin to Peer. This song text is all about f springtime lovin'. Actually, on the surface, it's just about spring and, uh, you know, the return of life and return to sort of carefree days coming out of the winter, but a lot of the terminology would have been understood to Shakespeare's audience as being direct references to the brothels. The red blood rains and the winter's pale. You know what I mean? Unsurprisingly, not every composer throughout music history has been super comfortable with that subject matter, so I decided to go for this one in chronological order so that you can see the sort of tame to the profane. Starting off with the sort of innocent, oh, it's just springtime song settings are Frederick Ayers, who was an American composer, and he actually lived in Colorado Springs for a lot of his life, and did a lot of his musical work in Colorado, so that's an interesting little tidbit, and our favorite Italian composer, Mario Castelnuovo Tedesco. On the lustier side of things, and maybe even bawdier side of things, are Peter Warlock and Geoffrey Bush, two British composers of the 20th century. The final setting of that text by American composer Mark Blitzstein, who we've heard in a couple other episodes, is sort of whatever you want to make it. It has just a high melody line in the piano that introduces it, then the singer is completely a cappella, and then that same high melody ends it. Now that high thing in the piano um, is marked quasi pifero, which can mean either like a fife or like a pifero, and I decided to make it flute because it seemed to fit the flute's range and it reminded me of a flute. So I asked Emily Murdoch, who is a soprano and also a flutist, if she would play it for me and she graciously obliged. So pop some corn and strap yourselves in. Here are five different settings of When Daffodils Begin to Peer. Oh, my 
Yeah. 
When daffodils begin to peer With hay the doxy over the dale Why then comes in the sweet of the year For the red blood reigns in the winter's pale The white sheet bleaching on the hedge With hay the sweet birds, oh how they sing Doth set my pugging tooth on edge For a quart of ale is a dish for a king The lark that here a lira chants With hay, with hay, the thrush and the jay Are summer songs for me and my aunts While we lie tumbling, tumbling Tumbling in the Our single setting of the text, But Shall I Go Mourn for That, is by Mario Castanuovo Tedesco. Now, just from the title of that, But Shall I Go Mourn for That, you would think that it's mournful and sort of sentimental, and the music almost sounds that way, but the actual text of the song is a little bit more, whatever, the moon still shines, I can still walk around, life is still good, I'm not that bothered by it. Castanuovo Tedesco actually skips some dialogue and includes the song Jog On, Jog On the Foot Pathway, um, which reinforces the idea of just sort of living your life in a more carefree way. So two songs for the price of one. Here's Mario Castanuovo Tedesco's setting of But Shall I Go Mourn for That. Finishing up our octet of songs, we have two settings of Lawn as White as Driven Snow, which is Autolycus's song when he's pretending to be this vendor. Well, I guess he's not pretending. He actually has stuff that he's selling to people. And he comes in with this, these high-energy songs about, do you want to buy this? Do you want to buy that? And both settings have that really, really insistent, almost annoying energy. In fact, I wish I'd given myself more time to breathe. Mark Blitzstein's setting includes only the text uh, Lawn is White as Driven Snow and the song that follows that, and yet again, Mario Castanuova Tedesco skips some dialogue, he actually skips another song, um, and brings in song text of Will You Buy Any Tape, which is similar, uh, similar subject, just selling different things to people. So Castanuovo, always willing to just sort of mash things together if they go together. So here are two settings, one from Mark Blitzstein, the other from Mario Castanuovo Tedesco, of Autolycus's vendor or peddler's song, Lawn as White as Driven Snow. Sweet as time. 
says, Come, lads, buy me, come by. Diddle, 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 diddle. Put the bracelet, necklace, and the bracelet, necklace, and the coffee for a lady's chamber. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of those eight songs. If you're still with me, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you want to see future videos. There will be more, even though 2020 is over. Once again, thank you so much to my fabulously talented collaborators, Cindy, Emily, and Steven. I would not have been able to do this episode without you. And there's actually a lot of collaboration coming up as well, so I'm really excited to share that. It's always nice when people don't just have to look at this mug. Thank you so much for watching Song Spear, and I'll see you next time. Surprise!